Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, one I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate. Cruise mode. Full flaps. Welcome to the video. Let's get started. That's right, today we're looking at custom sound packs and creating your own custom sound files for your radio. So we're going to be looking at how to do this for OpenTX and EFOS. It's pretty much the same process, the only thing that really changes is a little bit about the file names and also where you put the file on the SD card. Everything else is basically the same. So this is going to be a video for everybody. So let's get started. First of all, let's talk about what is already available out there. And this is, if you don't want to create your own stuff, what can you get hold of to put on your radios? So first of all, we've got a sound pack that's been around for quite a while and a lot of people have used it in the past. And this is the Amber sound pack. Now to get to this, it's on opentxu.org, which is the OpenTX University. I'll put a link in the description. So you can actually download it here, but one thing is it's, it's getting quite old now. So there's a lot of things that if you're using iNav or any other sort of flight controller, there's a lot of sounds that aren't really gonna be there in the pack that you may find useful. But if you're a line of sight pilot, it will probably do everything that you need. So all you need to do is download this file here and extract that to a folder on your desktop and then you can skip ahead to the SD card part if you want to use that. Another sound pack that's available is the iNav Fixed Wing Group sound pack. Now this one is more tailored towards iNav but it will be fine for other flight controllers too. It's got a lot of different modes in there. You can find that on the iNav Fixed Wing Group site. If you go to guides and then down the bottom you've got OpenTX models and sound packs. And you just go down to here and you see transmitter sound pack. And the reason it's transmitter sound pack used to be OpenTX is because there is an EFOS version already. So you can see here what commands it's got. There's not really a lot of line of sight things here, but there's a lot of stuff that's useful for flight controllers. So it's tailored towards iNav. So it's got all the different camera switchings, all uh, different flight modes, uh, warnings that are useful. And these are all used in the iNav fixed wing group models. Um, it also has replacement sounds for the Lua script, so the voice is the same. Um, and it's got other, other useful things there. You can check that all out. Again, to just download it, you just click on the link. It will get you a zip file and you just extract that to your desktop and then move on to putting the sound files onto your SD card. So the next thing that you might want to do is just make your own sound file. And this is what I've done. I made the iNav Fixed Wing Group sound file. and it's using the same voice as my personal sound file that has my line of sight stuff on there. So maybe what I'll do is a line of sight pack, um, which will work together with the iNav Fixed Wing Group pack and put it on my website. Then everyone can have the best of both worlds then. But what I'm going to do now is show you how to make your own sound files. So when it comes to the sounds, the way I'm going to show you how to do things is with an online voice generating website. Now, these can work in two ways. They can either give you a file to download, which is absolutely perfect and ideal, or they just play it on your system and we have to record it. But either way, we're going to have to tweak that sound when we get in anyway. So what we want to do is download an audio package so that we can edit it. This package here is absolutely ideal. You can see it's got versions for Windows, Mac and Linux. So this is completely free and this is what I've been using all the time. And I would recommend downloading and installing that before carrying on anymore with this video. Not only because we need to edit the sound files in this program, but also I'm going to show you how to record the sound files on the computer as you're going. So as I mentioned, the, the way to do this is to have an online text to speech converter. And there are some good ones and there are some bad ones. There are free ones and there are obviously paid ones that are usually a bit better. This one here is a free one. And Mark Hoffman actually sent me this link. The voice that it has here, Aria Online, is actually really, really good. Um, for example. Hello, everyone. Ready to create some custom voice files? Now, to me, that sounds really bloody good, to be quite frank, and it sounds like a natural voice. Unfortunately, that voice is only available if you use this with the Microsoft Edge browser. If you use it with anything else, you get a much uh, reduced number of voices. 
And also, most of the other voices don't sound anywhere near as good as Aria. So, yeah, that one seems like a really good one to, to use. But anyway, what we're going to do is I'll just type in something basic. So, for example, there we go. For some reason, it doesn't stop when it gets to the end, which is a little bit annoying. So what we need to do, because you can see on here, there's nowhere to actually save um, the voice. What you need to do is record it. So this is where we're going to fire up the Audacity software that we downloaded and installed a few minutes ago. So we've got Audacity and we've got our text to speech converter, but we may need to tweak our sound settings so that we can record from the system sounds. And to do that, what we're going to do is just click on the start menu and type sounds. And you'll see this change system sounds here. If you click on that, that will take us to the first step. Unfortunately, it pops up on my other screen. That's why I have to keep switching my head around. So if we go to this recording tab, what we need to find is stereo mix. If that's not there, you can right click and show disabled devices and then it should appear. To have it in the list is all we really need at this stage what we can do is then select our recording device. So what you want to do is look just here and you've got microphone and you want to select stereo mix. And we just want it on a one channel mono because that's all we're going to have. And that's all we need to do. So what we should be able to do is now just click the record button. I will shut up when I do this just in case it records my mic. And then we can press play on here mode so you can see it's recorded it but it is very quiet and what you'll actually end up doing is bumping the volume up on your computer so it might be easier to plug some headphones in but if you bump up the volume on your computer you'll actually get a louder sound file so i'll just show you that i'll bump my, my volume up so we might get an echo on this one but if i go to the end of the file i'll re record again Cruise mode. And you can see that time it's come through louder. So what we can do is just play it back to see what we've actually got. Cruise mode. And you can see it's not bad already. It's coming through similar sort of volume levels. I'm just going to turn my volume down again. But what we need to do now is edit that file. So what I'll do is it's really simple. I'll, I'll make it full screen. Uh, we're just going to drag the end of it and then press the delete key on the computer and then drag away the bit we don't want at the beginning and you can sort of zoom in uh, which is that one and you can get it closer if you want and if you use play spacebar or play the sound back Cruise mode. so you can see that's nice and sharp now what I always tend to do is we go select all. Now what we're going to do is boost the volume up. So we'll go to um, amplify, which is in effects, amplify. And then what I always do is set um, a decibel rate. And what this will do is get it so that all the sounds are about the same level if we use the same decibel. And I'm sure I use about minus four on my settings. So we just OK that and we can see now it's got louder. Cruise mode. Still sounds absolutely fine. You'll need to just play about with these settings. When I record my sounds, I have the volume so that it's not clipping, but it's quite loud. I sort of do a few just to test the volume level. So that when I amplify it, it probably will bring it down slightly in volume, but it will just get them all the same level. Once we've got that, we need to save it in a format that's OK for OpenTX or EFOS. So the first thing that we're going to do is down here, you've got project rate in Hertz, and we're going to change that to 32,000. Next, what we need to do is go to tracks and resample, and it will resample to 32,000. You can see the WAV files change slightly, but the sound will still be very similar. Mode. And next up, what we need to do is save this off. So you just want to go file and export and then export as WAV file. So this is actually in my um, SD card at the moment. So I've got that in system. 
but this is going to be the root file for the ethos stuff before i name it i should bring up the slight difference between ethos and OpenTX. if you're using OpenTX, you want a file name that's only six characters long which is not a lot but unfortunately it is a limit on some transmitters so depending on what transmitter you're using you could have a maximum of six characters for your sound file so if it's any longer than that they just won't appear in the list so again if you want to share it with people you want to stick to that six character limit if you've got something the x9d i believe could handle uh, eight characters and there are different transmitters that can do, use different lengths but if you do it to six, it will work on all of them. With Ethos, you can have longer names. I actually did ask for the actual maximum length of names, but I've not heard anything back yet. But I have seen some in in their um, system files that are quite long. So I'm just going to call this cruise cruise mode because I'm sure that will work. The last thing that pops up is a metadata box. Now you can fill these in, it won't actually have any issues on Ethos or OpenTX and I actually fill them in just to try and keep track of things. So um, if it's on a sound pack like the INF Finks Fing Group sound pack, I'll put a, like a version number in there and stuff like that. But you don't need to fill any of this in and unfortunately uh, neither OpenTX or Ethos takes advantage of it. It would be really nice if it would actually show the track name in the metadata if it was there, especially with six character limits, more meaningful names that pop up in the menus. But there we go. So I'm just going to OK that. We now have our sound file on the system and you just repeat this process for whatever sound files you want to add. So next up, what we're going to do is put that sound file on the transmitter. Right, first up, let's do OpenTX. So all we need to do is turn our transmitter on, ignore the switch warnings, <laughs> and then plug the USB cable in the back or wherever it is on your transmitter. And then of course we get this standard, do you want to use it as a joystick? No, we want to use it as SD storage. So there we go, we're connected. Let's get over to the desktop. Okay, so I've opened up one window, but obviously we just need to get some windows so we can move our files so i have the sd card here for the transmitter and what you want to do is go to sounds then you find your language folder so for me it's en and this is the folder where we're putting the sound now i've just remembered i've given it a long file name so it won't work in this <laughs> um, but now i just need to actually find where i put my sound files Right, so I saved mine in Ethos. Let's just do a copy and we'll rename it. There we go, A Cruise. Then it should be close to the top of the list. So all I'm going to do is copy that file and drop it onto the transmitter. And that's it done. We can now disconnect our transmitter. And all I'm going to do is just create a special function just so that we can see the, or hear the sound file. So I'm literally just going to put it on a switch so yeah i'm being lazy but you can see when se is in the middle it's going to play track a crows which is the file that we've just added so let me turn the volume up and then let me move se cruise mode there you go that's that's the sound file we've just created and it actually does sound really nice cruise mode good voice pack right so let's do the same with ethos so with EFOS, because we're accessing the SD card, we want to do it slightly differently. Hold down your enter button and then just click the power button to get into bootloader mode. Then we're going to plug in our USB cable and we get USB plugged out of focus. So again, we're going to just copy this file across. I can delete this short file name version. And again, I'm going to open up a file explorer. OK, so EFOS is slightly different. All we need to do is go in the audio folder and we just dump it straight in there. We don't need to go into a language pack at all. The only thing that's in language at the moment is the system file. So you literally just put it in the audio folder. But anyway, that's on our transmitter. So I'm going to set up another special function just to show you it working. So there you go. You can see the um, special function I've created. It's basically identical to the one on OpenTX. SE in the middle uses the file cruise mode and it plays a track. So here we go. Cruise mode. 
Cruise mode. And that actually sounds really nice on there as well. Cruise mode. So there you go. That's the sound we've just created on Ethos. So, so there you have it. Ethos or OpenTX, you can now create your own custom sound files. You can put them on the transmitter. You can download sound packs. And yet you can do everything when it comes to sounds. The world is your oyster. Get out there and enjoy it. <laughs> uh, probably a bit over the top, but never mind. <laughs> you can have fun with these sound packs, especially if you set up a transmitter for a friend and they don't know what you're going to put as their startup sound. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. That will get more people to see this video and help them do this too. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Flow your models like you stole them. I'll see you on the next one.